We've turned this run into a bit of a frost-based run, but hey, look at this. No burrowers. I love it. Um, yeah, we've turned this into a bit of a frost-based run, but I kind of like the freezing abilities. Frost beam is pretty good. Ice generator is pretty good. We can teleport enemies into position to get frozen. With a lot of freeze, maybe we don't need to teleport that much. Maybe this is going to be a bit of a pacifist run. I don't know. But, I'll be honest with you, I really like openings like this, where we can just go into the enemies and freeze all of them. I think we can totally do this mission. And I want lots of resources from this, this mission. So who has the ice generator? You do. You also have four movement. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I think that's fine. No, let's um, let's get you really close. Yeah, and let's put um, the other mechs right behind you. Now, if the blobber blobs back here, it might be a pain, but we're probably just gonna freeze all of these enemies on this turn. We also have um, freeze beam that we can use too. Reynolds says they should give you frozen or experience for frozen enemies at the end of missions. That would be kind of cool. That might be a little overpowered though. If you could just freeze all the enemies and still get experience for them. Okay, well I'm gonna tell you. I think the freeze here is great. One, two, three. Yep, it'll freeze everything but one hornet. And um we could even get the Hornet frozen if we just teleport it over. Now the Leaper will also be uh, in a bad spot, but we could very easily move it by just teleporting it, and then we can move out of the way. So yeah, teleport. Move out of the way, please. Teleport you so you can get frozen and then freeze everything. We'll have one mech next turn. Oh, and you're 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 stationary too. <laughs> we have one mech next turn, but how like that's a great move, isn't it? Everything's frozen. I do hope we can get like another uh, secret pilot. That would be great, but we'll see. So unfreeze, unfreeze, smack him. Yeah, we could have just frozen the terrain, but this works too. Now, I really do want to give experience to other people, so I'm like, is there a way that we could do that? Like, what if we freeze? And then teleport you into the drink? Does that even work? It does. Okay, good. <laughs> and and turn. Good mission. All right. Well, that's one way of doing it. We killed. Uh, well, we killed two things. And that was a quick mission too. Stabilizers don't take damage when you block a spawn. That does not seem that important. What is important is um, getting some tele some teleport range. Although I'll be honest, teleport uh, teleport range on this mech might be more important because of the fact that um, we want to we want to make sure the first ice is very very good and more teleport range helps on that. Defend the power plants. One, two, three, four. I really want to get the reactor, which means we kind of have to do block back spawning three times. Yeah, because we got to go here, here, and then we can pick and choose the mission. Because if we go up, it's one, two, three, four. We can't get the reactor core. So we're going to go to Nanite Farms. It's an easy mission, but again, I want to make sure that we can get our, um, our bonus reactor core. Because that's worth three corporate rep. 
And we should also try to get kills whenever possible because we do need the experience still. Our, our getting extra reactor or movement on the mechs or themselves on the pilots would be really nice. But I suppose we could also just um, dunk them when necessary. So, prepare to get frozen. You're gonna break a shield, who cares? Great. And then you can, I guess you can block a spawn. It is an objective. Good. If we're constantly blocking spawns, it is gonna be tough to, um, to get kills, because the best we can do is like a two move teleport, but we should still strive to do that, probably. Um, so speaking of, you should teleport here, and then you maybe uh, work on getting a kill next turn by teleporting him into the drink. That's why we need the bonus reactor core so we can get more movement back now that we have, um, you know, frost beams and frost generators. And whatnot. All right, so this blocks Vex spawning. Now we just have to live. Dun, 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 you can be teleported. You, I can move. So that'll work there. I guess I can make you block a spawn. Who has five movement? No one has five movement? Oh my lord. Really? You don't say. You don't say. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any kills. <laughs> I'm not really focusing on that, am I? I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't know how I can get a kill. No, there is a way. It's just weird. Teleport. Teleport. Freeze. And then we can at least teleport the Hornet into the drink, which gets us half the way to the next experience level. And there's only gonna be two enemies to deal with next turn anyways, so. We can, we can deal with them, and then we can teleport one Vec into the drink. You're not even doing anything. You're not even doing anything. Maybe I can teleport two into the drink now. I don't care about taking damage. So there's that one done. There's that one done. And uh, you I can't even do anything about, and you I can't even do anything about. There, I finally used that ability <laughs> that I've been holding on to. Confuse shot. Please, reactor, please. Disposal unit. Oh! Oh, 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 it's magic. Yo, this is fantastic. Is a disposal mission? There are five, one, two, three, six Vec, but disposal missions are so good. And a time pod, and a defense lab. Thank you, game. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, you freaking idiot. Although, you know, I can get a four kill here if I really want. And this is probably gonna give us enough experience too, this mission. Let's start here, because we can easily freeze these guys and be out of the way of the uh, of the freeze shot. So let's freeze here, or uh, kill here. Very close. Um, you need to be dealt with. You guys can be frozen. We'll deal with them in the future, and you might as well just grab the time pod. I don't see any secret time pods, unfortunately. Yeah, I, 
There's gonna be a lot of units spawning. Level up. Mech move. Thank you. Thank you. Finally got some mech move. So you can block a spawn. You can block a spawn. We do need experience specifically on this unit, and the, the AoE crowd kills are not going to funnel the experience on one unit, but, you know, that's fine. It's a, it's a process. So you... Gotta say, killing... Th uh, three units does seem pretty good. Because you can just get frozen. Yeah, I think I'd rather just freeze you this turn. We'll kill all these guys. We'll deal with, uh, right, you can't hear. You can't uh, repair, rather. We'll deal with one unit next turn, and then we'll just acid these remaining mountains. End turn. Still have a lot of experience to go on Isamu, but we'll, we'll get him, hopefully. You know what? We should definitely work on getting experience by, um, you know, just pulling a unit closer so that we can hit him with the uh, disposal. So I'm like, you have a teleport range of three, you guys have teleport ranges of two. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. Teleport, teleport, teleport. It'll collect all the units together and then we can smack them. Or, or, we can specifically get, ah, uh, no, I can't move there. This will still work. Or I could specifically get a kill with Blue Mech and force the experience to go to him. It'll take a, it'll take a moment, but we can make it work. So we start here. Finish off the mountains. This will. It doesn't break the ice! Well, never mind then. <laughs> we really thought we could do it. Um, well, you know, let's reset turn and get two kills at once. I forgot that it would um, take two hits to break the ice, but Acid Launcher kills it immediately. It's. Uh, what, what was the other weirdness with. Um, the game mechanics not working as expected. I believe it was the goo boss, the goo leader, that will break a mountain in one hit even though the mountain says it has to get hit twice, but this won't destroy the ice tile in one hit because it must be hit twice. Sure, whatever, I don't know. I don't know, okay? Mechanics, they're weird. Regardless, this still gets the job done, kills everything. Like, okay, hold up, hold up. I, I want to be clear about something. Ice tile, bottom right corner, must be hit twice. And if you use the acid launcher, it only cracks the ice because it must be hit twice. But any damage will free the unit, invincible but unable to move or attack. So why does this hit and kill the hornet when it doesn't hit and destroy the ice, it just cracks the ice. Game. <laughs> Help me. This is one of those things where it's like, I should be able to figure out what's gonna happen just by reading, but I can't. You have to you have to know. Like with the, the webbing. If you teleport a unit out of webbing, you'll be webbed because you'll be in the web. You'll teleport into the web. <laughs> Weird. Anyways, pod recovered. We got Ralph Carlson who, um, I'm gonna be honest with you, could be a great pilot because he has plus one mech reactor. But, this is still decent. Less than four mech damage, conveyor belts. Take less than three grid damage, protect the old earth bar. I like it, lots of Duncan. Highland Drain. Welcome to the stream. Game! <laughs> this is a game. Leaper, Beetle, Blobber, Hornet. I hate the Blobber.
No, we should we should be a little bit more spread out. Maybe here. Maybe these locations are fine. Yeah, let's... No, because I want the beetle to attack me and then get dunked. So we want one unit to be here. And the blobber... If the blobber goes for the blob behind the blue mech, they can get dunked. Let's give it a shot. Actually, they can't get dunked, but they can get uh, teleported. Island Drain says, the first time I played this game, I thought the grid power would heal in between islands. You know, that would make sense, right? Each island has its own grid resources. That does make a lot of sense. I can't blame you for that one. Okay, a teleport here saves. Uh, a teleport here murders you, but we have to worry about the blob. We can do everything here, because we, we can dunk the blob, hit the blobber into the pit, teleport here, the hornet will die, the beetle will live, the leaper will live, and two more units will spawn, but the blobber, to kill the blobber early, it's so good. By the way, I forgot the whole dealie here. We're gonna freeze them all. <laughs> We're not even gonna kill them. Maybe we should kill them. Maybe we should wait for the freeze. We don't need to, uh, we don't need to do it now. You know, teleport, you're gonna die. And you're webbed, which is amusing. Uh, teleport, block a spawn, hit his ass in. This seems like an okay turn. And if we can get some kills, maybe we can get this guy leveled up. I would like to get him leveled up. They need to be the one that dunks, is the thing. We need to have them be the one that teleports enemies into the drink. So, uh, teleporting you would kill you, weirdly enough. Like, move here and teleport and you will go into the drink. You. You might just freeze him, because this is kind of hard to deal with. You can just smack him. Yeah? Kind of like it. Goodbye. Um, so you can get frozen, I think. I could teleport, teleport, which would get a kill. We should, we should get kills passively when possible. That way we um, gain possible experience on the, on the last remaining pilot. So give me a teleport, teleport. You're gonna die and not block a spawn, which is fine. And we still have all of this freezing if we need it. So plus two experience, plus three experience. You're covered in acid. You are dead. If I push you up, you will kill your friend and you can get dunked. Although it's hard for me to get into position to dunk you, because I gotta, I gotta, I can't get there. But, um, this is a weirdly great turn. We can actually afford, if we want to, to pull the blue mech forward so that they can get a kill and get, get four experience. And that should almost be enough for a level up. So how are we gonna do this? Teleport here. Two units are dead. That's plus four experience. It does 10 damage. And we can freeze on the next turn too. We don't have to uh, kill the last remaining enemies at spawn. We can just ice them. By the way, we gotta level up. What is it? Please don't tell me it's grid defense. <laughs> Please give me like plus one reactor. Please. Please. Or one move. I don't care. One move, one reactor. It's grid defense! This is, these are the worst pilots I think I've had ever. <laughs> They're all bad. They're all just garbage pilots. Anyways. 
gonna freeze everyone. Yeah, what garbage pilots these are. Sorry, Abe, I know I'm disappointing you, says Lonely's Troll. Nah, you, you're, you're beautiful. Which one are you? With the armor. Nah, never mind, you're, you're, you're garbage. I thought you were, uh, sti sidestep, but that's Alpha Wolf. Yeah, you are kind of disappointing, Lonely. I'm sorry. Okay, Hornet Leader. Let's do it. It would be nice if we had any freaking grid defense at all on the entire mission, but we took like six damage and we didn't resist any of it. So what the hell are you doing for me, huh, game? Nothing. That's what. I don't love this because two flyers means we can't dunk them. That's expected. But I can get the Alpha Hornet to, to ice him. Because the Alpha Hornet only does two damage, right? Yeah, it makes it hard to kill the Alpha Hornet enemies. Sorry, the Leader Hornet does two damage. Alpha Hornet's at four HP, it's hard to get a kill. But, I gotta say, I like this. Double freeze. Gives the Alpha Hornet some targets. We'll have the Alpha Hornet kill the blob. And then we can... Oh, we can't quite get there. We don't have the teleport range. So if we can't quite get there... I suppose in theory we could get up here and freeze the leader, but I really don't want to freeze the leader. I, really want, I want to kill the leader. So how do we deal with the Hornet and save the building up there? Well, we'll have to teleport the Hornet and then, um, or actually, you know, we can just hit the Hornet. And we can do the teleport here. But you can't do the teleport there because you got to do the freeze. You could just freeze the... Uh, you can't freeze the villain because you got to deal with the Hornet leader. We can teleport him. It's a tough one because I want I want to kill the Hornet. I like this because it deals with two units and it freezes them and it blocks a spawn for the next turn. And then whatever spawns here is probably going to go for the frozen units or my own mech. That's fine. I like just smacking the Hornet, but then we can't deal with everything here. So what if we? We're gonna have to freeze everything up here and then free that Hornet leader on the next turn. In fact, we could free the Hornet leader on this turn. Yeah, we're gonna have to do it like that. So we're gonna start with this freeze. Um, we are going to... Oh, we could confuse shot, but that doesn't save enough. No. So we're gonna freeze. Oh, dude, I, I have it perfect. I have it perfectly. Freeze and then attack out of the ice. He's infected by acid. He's, his attack is stopped. Nothing's taking damage. There's gonna be two enemies next turn. I have two units. I also have a uh, unit in the ice. It's gonna take a turn for them to get fr free, but we can totally deal with this. Yeah, yeah, this is this is fine. And this is, this is the perfect teleport turn. <laughs> It's like, I don't even have to do anything. Yeah. That was a great turn one. I remembered at the last moment that the Mantis can attack out of the ice and still attack, freeing himself. It's so good. By the way, you're dead. By the way, ah, you know what? gonna freeze you because <laughs> you don't impress me much <laughs> and it doesn't matter what you do because you're just gonna stay there wow you jump so far if 
only you weren't useless. Quirk says the Twitch is acting funny. Connie says the stream's cutting every five minutes. My internet upload has not wavered, so I don't think it's me. I can't believe we got another pilot. <laughs> or another possible pilot. Repairing one mech will affect all mechs or plus two. We're gonna go for the plus two. We're gonna buy immediately all of the reactor they have. And um, we're gonna sell a pilot. We're also going to sell stabilizers because we don't need them. And then, range, range, range. Movement is also good. But I want everyone to have maximum movement teleports. It's probably worth more than a movement. So, um, yeah. We've not needed Confuse Shot at all. If we sell it, we can get another reactor. So you know what? I'm gonna sell Confuse Shot to get another reactor core to get more movement on our blue mech. So now both of these guys have five move and maximum teleport range. The Mantis mech has one less move, but they can still hit and teleport. Beautiful, leave island. 